Welcome to Clover Sean's Vineyards. My name is Roy, I'm the estate sommelier, and today we're gonna learn how to savor a bottle of sparkling wine, or like the French call it in champagne, champagne wine. Why and where did this come from? This is a tradition. Where they take a saber, such as this, and remove the top of the bottle. And this started back in the days of Napoleon. And what happened was, at the end of the day, Napoleon and his men were, had conquered another nation, and they were thirsty, and they were hungry, and so the pages would bring out bottles of champagne into the field. Well, what Napoleon and his men did was simply take the bottle, take the saber, and cut off the top, and then they, they had their champagne. So that's where the whole tradition started. Today, we do it just because it's fun to do, exciting, and it adds a little festivity to your event. But a couple of things you gotta learn. First of all, the champagne has to be, or the sparkling, has to be very cold. There's a lot of pressure in this bottle, about three times more than in your car tire. So, if this bottle is too warm, and when I remove the wire cage around this cork, if it's too warm, that cork could just fly out of there before I'm actually ready to savor it. So having it very cold is really important. Refrigerator temperature, 38 to 40. Not only did I have this in the refrigerator, but now it's in a bucket of ice water, keeping it very cold. So it doesn't explode and shoot that cork out in a direction I don't want it to go. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take off the foil. In this case, I'm going to remove the whole foil. It doesn't have to be fancy. I just kind of, kind of rip it off like that. Now, I got a cage and I got the cork. I'm going to remove the cage. But before I remove the cage, every bottle has a seam. You've got to find the seam. You've got to use your finger and you've got to find it. And that's very important. Because if you don't run your saber up the seam, you will shatter uh, the top. So I'm going to remove the cork, the cage rather. I turn this, and this is international. Four and a half turns to, to loosen the cage. That is international, no matter who makes sparkling, who makes champagne in the world, that is always consistent. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the bottle at about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to take the back side of my saber. I'm going to run it right up this seam and right through the bottom. Are you ready? Here we go. Your champagne is ready, Napoleon. Thank you, and see you next time.